I'm Carl Rogers, and I am the shop foreman here at Barracks and Works. My job is to take the, <clears throat> the projects from concept, which is what the, the sales of design does, is they do the concept. When they send the concept out to me, I oversee the production from beginning to final product, which is the last handle on the project and the customer signing off on it being done. So in that process, it starts with a meeting with Ryan and the design team to oversee the, the project from the very beginning. They take and they share with me what they've sold, what the customer's expecting, and all the in and outs about it. Okay. Colors, schemes, things like that. Hi, all. My name is Ryan Condi, and I am in charge of sales and, and marketing and design. So essentially, what I do is I work with the, our customers to when they have their ideas or they bring in their plans for their for their home or whatever their or business, whatever they're doing. I take their plan and I put it into our software and I design and work with them on getting them the picture in their head onto, onto the screen so that when Carl, you know, so that I can get out to the shop so that all of our machinery can cut out exactly what our customers are looking for. So we have, obviously we have a design wall there that has all the doors, door styles, colors, different varieties of wood species that we use and uh, they can go through that and choose their colors. Um, we don't really have set colors, we're more of a custom shop, so basically any color that they're wanting or, or, or desiring, we can, we, can, we can send it down and have our supplier do a, do a color match for wood species, and I mean, virtually anything that they wanna do, we can do, and we can take it from a concept that, they, that they've had in their head or their mind that they want to create in their home and basically we can we can make that a reality and so my job is to take them through that process and go through the design process with them there's times where I'll be here for eight hours with the customer every single day um, there's times where I'll leave the office and I'll go to their house and I'll measure and make suggestions there's a lot of times where they'll have an outdated design or whatever in their kitchen and there's some ways that we can maybe remove some walls and make things so that it opens the kitchen up. Kind of give them suggestions on a, on a myriad of different ways to make their kitchen more user friendly, more ergonomical, more, I mean, so where everything's in a place that's, that's better suited for, for them. And so there's a lot of aspects to that. A lot of things that I can do, you know, like this is a 3D, I can take this and I can show them exactly what that's going to look like. I can turn it upside down, forwards, backwards. So they can see exactly what that room's going to feel like when it's done. So if I had a big kitchen in here, you could go in there and you can turn that whole thing around. This is a basement kitchen here that I've been working on this morning, um, just trying to get everything in. So these, these here are, is a um, refrigerated door, a freezer door, and then this is a microwave door that we're going to put uh, as a pull down door. So everything's really efficient and, and you know, makes it really nice for them because they can actually visualize what's, you know, a lot of people can't visualize what you're talking about a lot of times. And so with this 3D, it really puts them in that space so they can actually feel what that's actually gonna feel like when it's, when it's done. And so it really allows them to grasp the whole concept of what they're buying and, and what they're gonna get. And it allows them to be able to put things into place very quickly in order to, you know, change up that design, see what it looks like this way, this way, you know, we can create as many rooms as we need to within this um, software. It allows us a lot of freedom to be able to give the customer exactly what they're looking for. And it really makes it nice. And then we have the handles and, you know, everything's kind of all here in, in, one, in one room that they can kind of get an exact feel for what's going to be in their new kitchen and then this software actually takes this design and it breaks it down into pieces that 
go out to where the CNC is out on the floor out there where Carl's working and he takes this stuff and then it just cuts it all out for us. Mm -hmm. So it really is streamlined, makes everything really efficient for us on, on the shop side so that we can create some efficiencies in producing the product so that we can get it out quicker. And so it's really nice because it, one, it gives the customer a good feel, but it also is a very useful tool for us as a company because it's an all-in-one feature where we can design here, but it also is functional where we can send it out to the shop. There's two parts to the shop. There's the cabinet part, and then there's the mill part. The mill part is where all the hardwood is milled. It's a different process, it's a different material. Um, the cabinets come in what a typical sheet good, which is a four foot by eight foot by three quarter product. And it is cut and processed through that edge machine and then assembled. The wood part, the mill part, makes all of your moldings, like your crown molding. It makes all of your doors. It makes all of the other parts of the kitchen that are typically the pretty side of what you see. So you've got you've got a cabinet and then you've got all the pretty stuff you put on top of the cabinet. And that comes from different parts of the shop. The big long one is called the edge bander. That's where we take the raw cabinet parts and put a finished edge on them. Just to protect the edge. Uh, and also make it mm -hmm. that's, that's a, That tool is an industry standard everywhere. The Longo laser is called a rip saw. It is a laser guided saw used for um, straight lining and sizing material. Um, that's all its purpose is. Mm -hmm. to take a raw product and make it into a workable product. This is what's called a build sheet, and it tells whomever is on this end what they're building. This one is this particular cabinet is a drawer cabinet. Okay. Okay. So all the parts will come down here after they've been banded, and they'll be sorted into their perspective bins. You know, only about twenty to thirty at a time. We've milled our product, we've prepared it for assembly, we've brought it down here, we've sorted it for assembly. Now we're assembled. This unit here is uh, a raw product, this is a raw wood, and it's assembled. The next step for it will be to get the finished product, which is a stain and a clear coat or top coat. That's what the process for here is. These parts here, they will not get a stain. They will get one of those doors that we just looked at. That would be the front of it. These are actual bookcases. So this will get a full three quarter inch piece in the back. And when this stands up, it's almost 10 feet tall. You'll be able to put your shelves here and put your books on them. Now this, this product's had two coats of primer. He's gonna prep it for final coat of finish.
Okay. And it gets put together there. Yeah, it gets installed at the house. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So. so we'll go in with pieces like it is what you're in. You're in the battery. Set it up. They put it all together. Yeah. All the time. Mm -hmm. so, 